Salut c'est Schnouf et bienvenue sur ce nouvel épisode de Red Dead Redemption 2. Euh, lors de l'épisode précédent, nous avions euh, volé euh, bah, des chevaux. Sauf qu'on devait les revendre pour 5000 dollars et on les a revendus pour 750 dollars. Donc on s'est fait un petit peu arnaquer. Donc euh, là je dois aller voir euh, Orsea il me semble. Chez les crêts. Non pas chez les crêts, je sais plus. Bref, vous allez voir. <rire> Les crêts, c'était euh, l'épisode précédent. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caligar Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> She ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. <rire> Ça au moins c'est clair. Just get back on the bloody horse. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. <laughs> not I thinking it's hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty hell, bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm not for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. They were on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, <laughs> we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Bon, on va couper à travers, ça ira plus vite. On y arrive, c'est la grande maison là-bas. J'ai mon fusil qui sort. Yeah. 
on, boy. I, I, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. That's I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Uh, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. All right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. Ok, moi je fais comment là? Quite a place you guys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses out in Donegal. Real fancy place it was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Et voilà. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Bon, jusque là, ça va, c'était facile. How you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. <laughs> Get this job done first, okay? 
I'll take care of this fella. Je te laisse faire, mec. Hein. Come on, you douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Alors. Je passe entre les deux, nickel. C'est chaud là quand même. Je vais attendre qu'il fasse demi-tour, je le sens pas là. Putain, je suis un ouf, moi. Ah putain, ok. J'ai compris un peu tard. Ok. Bon, je comprends un peu tard ce que je devais faire. Enfin, ce que je devais faire. Ça va être tendu là. Je vais attendre gentiment. Allez, fais demi-tour, mec. Tu m'as pas vu, tu m'as pas entendu, nickel. C'est d'alcool normalement. C'est pas passé loin sur ce coup là.
retrouver Sean à la grange. Ah, alors comment je vais faire Ok, bah Shen va s'en occuper, je pense. Parfait. Oh, mais me fait pas reculer, mec. Ok, j'allume euh, L1. Putain, je dois aller où là Là-bas. Tu fous quoi Tu fous quoi Tu fous quoi Tu fous quoi Problème, je reste près de toi, mec. Bon, R1, à chaque fois, je me fais avoir au niveau des touches. Hop, voilà. Et bim. Il est mort Ok il est mort. Par ici. T'es où 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 T'es là Détacher le cheval, allez, détacher le cheval, j'ai dit, allez, 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 allez hop, bon, bon en attendant, faut hein. que non, c'est bien ça. Ok, 
Ok, allez, 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 allez. On a bien foutu le bordel là. Bah, j'accepte. Voilà, tranquille, tranquille, tranquille. Bon bah voilà, c'est cool, donc bah... Non, non, je veux pas que tu me parles. Non, non, je veux pas envie, je me casse, je veux pas envie là. J'ai pas envie de lancer une autre mission, hop. Voilà, donc c'est cool, bah on a bien foutu le bordel, on a mis le feu un peu partout euh, dans les champs. Euh, le gameplay plutôt pas mal, je connaissais pas encore les, les bombes incendiaires là, donc euh, plutôt cool. Enfin, grenade incendiaire plutôt. En tout cas, euh, moi j'ai arrêté la vidéo là et on se retrouvera euh, bah, prochainement pour la suite de Red Dead Redemption 2. Sur ce, moi je vous laisse et je vous dis à bientôt. Tchuss